All right, in this example, ladies and gentlemen, we look at this function. And we say, all right, that is definitely differentiable, as well as that's on a closed interval. Oops, sorry. So the first thing I would do is I would rewrite this as x to the 1 third. Therefore, um, I know I have my two endpoints, but I want to find my um, intervals or my critical numbers. So I do h prime of x equals 1 third x to the negative 2 thirds. Right? So I have 3 times the cube root of x squared. Right? Or you can leave that as a positive rational power. It doesn't really matter. Um, and then we want to basically find h of 0. Um, well, when this is set equal to 0. Well, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, that doesn't work because that's going to give you 0 cannot equal 1 again, right? So this is going to provide us with no critical numbers at the end. However, if you look at it that way, then yes, we have no critical numbers. But remember, critical numbers occur when f of prime of c is equal to 0 or when it's undefined. So when we go back and look at this equation, do we have a value where our h prime is, equal, is going to be undefined? c has to equal 0. So that is a critical number for us because it's undefined. It's not when it's set equal to 0. It's when it's undefined in this example. And then we have our endpoints. So we'll do h of negative 1 and h of 1. Oh, we need to find h of 0, too. So h of negative 1, so you just plug in negative 1 squared cube root. Why did I get those? Just turn it to the bottom bin, actually. Why did I get that? Give me 1 third. That becomes, when I take that, um, I guess I did my math wrong on that. This becomes a negative 1 would be 1 third. Here I have. Um, Oh, I'm going back to, I'm sorry, I plug it back into your function, right? Hello. So negative, uh, cube root of negative 1 is going to be negative 1. Cube root of 1 is going to be positive 1. And cube root of 0 is going to equal 0. So do you guys see how we have a critical number, but it does not provide us with a extrema? Right? So it is OK to have, extreme, to have critical numbers, but not be provided an extrema. So this is going to be our absolute max. And there is going to be our absolute min. <laughs> wow, that's like not even close, right? There we go. Yes? Yes, that would just be represented with a relative min. 